Hey YouTube Pot 700 and today I'm doing an update video on Chuck. Uh, yeah, I've not done an update video in a while. Um, just because no upgrades have been purchased or anything like that. So, uh, I was going to purchase the 3S LiPo. Uh, this is 3S Life Battery if you don't already know. I was going to purchase a 3S uh, LiPo battery, but that's not really going to happen yet because uh, and just some complications. I mean, it has to do with my car. I mean, the problem is is that I would really like to get the 3S LiPo, but there's just stuff that I need way more than a new battery. So that's pretty much why. I don't know, I'll show you. Uh, mainly, or, and as you can see, it's set up for off-roading again with the subs on the back and the really soft springs with, yeah, it's my off-road setup. It actually works pretty well. I found this really cool place to bash. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, so the first thing, first reason why the 3S LiPo is not going to happen for a little bit is because, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that tire, but the hex hub is stuck in there. It's because this battery here has a 3S LiFe battery, and it's only 9.9 .9 volts. Nominal, but uh, it packs a big, it's a lithium battery, so it discharges that energy way extremely fast. So I stripped that out, and I got it stuck in the wheel. So now I need new rear tires, because when you take the rear tires off the wheel, it ruins them. So, and I cannot get that out. So I need new rear tires, and I need new rear tires, and what else has happened? Okay, yeah. Second complication. In front. Uh, where is it? Right there. Can you guys see that? Okay, yeah, the front tire. Yeah, you can see that. The front tire completely ripped open. So, I need new front tires and new rims because, because you know, I mean, you can use the rims when you take the tires off the rims. But I cracked the rim too, so I need new rims now. Okay, second thing, uh, third thing actually. This RPM bumper is like completely destroyed. I mean, I mean it's been chopped and it's just taken a huge beating and I need a new one. Third thing, the wheelie bar is really screwed up. I decided that I'm finally just going to get a new wheelie bar because the arms are broken, the tires are, you know, the arms are broken, this mount is a piece of junk, it keeps on coming off, so I'm going to actually get the RPM mount for the wheelie bar and then just get the little arms things for it because it's broke. So I'm going to get a whole new wheelie bar assembly, it'll look much nicer and cleaner. New front tires, new back tires, new front tires. As for tires, speaking of tires, for the front, I think I'm going to do, uh, some barcodes, J concept barcodes, and then for the back, I think I'm gonna put the double D's, J concept double D's. So that's what I think I'm gonna do for the tire situation. So this battery, I mean, it's got plenty of power for now. I really did want the 3S LiPo, but all this stuff just keeps piling up. And this is stuff that, like, I actually need to keep my car running. And so, yeah, so that means I need to get aluminum hex hubs. And new front tires, new rear tires, uh, a new wheelie bar assembly, a new bumper. All said and done, it's going to be around 80 bucks. And so <laughs> you're going to probably see all that stuff come in in about a month. You might see the unboxing video of all that stuff that I need to get for my car. But until then, not a lot has happened. I found a really good... Uh... Oh, another thing. The, the Jayco's ripped. As you can see, right, right there, you can see a big old chunk got taken out of them everywhere. They're just destroyed, so those are no good anymore. Talons are toast. I mean, <laughs> yeah, tire stitch is not a my car's strong spot. So anyway, I found this really good place to bash. It's like it's like an old construction lot. It's really rocky and sandy, and the owner it's in the middle of our neighborhood. It looks like they put 300 pounds of dynamite and just blew a big crater in there. It's got lots of mounds to jump off and stuff. It's just great for bashing. And uh, I talked to the owner who lives across the street and he said it was fine if I bash my car there. So that's what I do. And I have a lot of fun doing that, even though my car gets really, really dirty. But, 
yeah, that's most of the stuff for the update. Like I said, I'm going to be getting new bumper, new front tires, new rear tires. Oh, yeah, and by the way, the tires are going to be on 2.2 rims. Yeah. Uh, new front tires, new rear tires, aluminum hex hubs, a new wheelie bar assembly with an RPM mount. Uh, what else? Oh, I even need new body clips. Look at this. Like, all my body clips are, like, destroyed. You can't really see it, but it's bent and it won't fit. So I'm going to get another pack of heavy duty body clips. New bumper. And some other random stuff. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe.